Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I just wanted to share a quick tip on how I um, keep track of my addresses for sending Christmas cards, holiday cards, and winter wishes. Um, this is just a tag. I wanted to make it cute because my box is really ugly. I have uh, four um, index card boxes. This is actually from uh, like 1983 when I got married. Um, and one of them is for family addresses. One is for addresses of friends. One is for addresses of my co-workers or business associates. And one is for um, my husband's co-workers and business associates. For each box, you know, I have an index, A through Z index, with um, index cards. And on the index cards, I will put... Let me find somebody who's passed away. I keep people who've passed away in the back. Um, just, I don't know why. But, um, so I, I have their address, um, the year that I sent them a card, and I'll write down the year, and then if they've returned a card, I put a check mark just to kind of keep track of, you know, who sends what. Um, and I also, I started this when we got married, and, um, I don't want to show all the personal information, but uh, what I used it for was sending thank you cards after our wedding. So on all of the um, family ones that you know were alive when we got married or were uh, at our wedding, I have what they gave us, i.e. so I could send a thank you card. But it's kind of fun to look back and see um, what people gave us. I still remember, of course, some of the things. But anyways, it was. Um, I also used that... Uh, if somebody's having a party, and um, like my sister-in-law has a Christmas party every year. So I don't want to give her the same hostess gift of a box of chocolates or a candle or a dish towel every year. So I'll keep track of what I give her every year per year. And it's just kind of for me so that I can come up with something new as a hostess gift. I do it for other people that um, like our friends have a uh, New Year's party. But I use this all year round. Not just for Christmas, of course, um, because this is, I don't have an address book per se. I, I prefer this because I can get more information on there. I can put down, I can list um, kids' names, dogs' and cats' names, any of their family members I can put on there. Any incidentals, um, like what sizes they are for family members, what colors they like. So in each... Um, index box I'll put as many stamps as I need and for this one obviously you know our families are all um, Christians or you know so I'm going to send Christmas cards for the co-worker boxes and the associate boxes we might not know what their religious affiliate is or affiliation is so those I might more than likely will send winter wishes or holiday season cards and then those I'd prefer not to use, um, you know, Christian-based stamps or whatever. Um, during the year, if somebody gives me a new address, they move, whatever, I'll just jot it down on a piece of paper or whatever, post-it note. I'll put that in the front so that I know i got to fix their card. Or if it's gotten, if they're a person that moves a lot, I make a new card. And then just transfer the information from the old card to the new card. In each box, I keep a stamp of our um, return address labels, or return address stamp. Um, in this case, it's family members, so it's from both of us. Um, so I actually will use this with our friend um, box, too, but our business associates, those will be labels from myself or labels from my husband. So this is just a easy for me... Um, like I said, I've had this since, system since 1983. It's worked really well. Um, and then what I can do is I can go through this before I start making my cards, update anything I need. You know, um, if someone's passed away during the year and I haven't gone in here to move their card to the back, um, I can do that then. And then I can just figure out how many cards I need for um, Christmas, how many I need for um uh, winter wishes or holiday season or New Year's and um, make up what I have to have. So um, this is just a tip for our Tuesday tips and tricks on YPP. 
If you've got a cool system you want to share, please do so. Um, it will be on the blog tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.